Hi, today I'm going to teach you how to do this. So basically when you have more than uh, one account in Dofus, then it's very convenient to have an option to have uh, to, to click one button and then have that uh, broadcasted to every window of Dofus that you have. And it is very convenient when you're trying to move around the maps or click through the same dialogues uh, on multiple windows or even consume items if they're in the same slots, you can click that. So yeah, this uh, this is a very uh, like nice quality of life thing to, to have. And uh, additionally, it's not that difficult to arrange. The tool we're going to be using, I'm sure you have heard, is the auto hotkey. Maybe you have even done uh, some research uh, on this uh, topic in the past. The problem I faced, because I also tried to research, is that there is not that much information about uh, DOFUS related scripting. And if there is uh, any, it's either uh, very old or not explained and uh, also very likely not in English and not doing the most important thing is very likely it's not doing what you want it to do. So that's why I'm going to teach you very quickly how to do what, uh, like, pretty much anything. Configure this, uh, this like clicks, and this is like the most important part of having auto hotkey. Fair warning: uh, this is only for Windows. This tool is not available for Mac users. So if you if you're on Mac, I'm currently researching for a way to do it on Macs, but uh, for now I have nothing to share, really. So this current tutorial is only for Windows users. So once you are on a website, you go ahead and just download the tool, select download current version, unless you have any specific reason not to, but I would recommend just go for the current one. And uh, after, after that, uh, what you do is you're gonna go ahead and install it. It's a standard window, uh, Windows installation, nothing fancy about that. Uh, pretty sure you have done it many, many times. And once that is done, uh, first thing I, I would uh, ask you to do is make sure that here in the tray you don't have any uh, icon like this, so auto hotkey. Uh, I have one because I have one running right now, but I'm gonna exit out. If you have any, just go ahead and exit out from there as well. That allows us to start pretty much from scratch. Next, so I have a folder here where I'm keeping my scripts. Um, there is nothing just because I emptied it out for, for this video, but it's also perfectly fine to keep your script that you're going to be launching. You have to launch it every time you like restart your PC, so that's why uh, you can keep it like next to your DOFUS launcher uh, to conveniently like click on a script and then click on the DOFUS and uh, it takes you like half a second to, to run. Right, so how do we get started? We actually don't need to run the auto hotkey application after it's installed. Don't do that. What we want to do is we want to right click select new and then select auto hotkey script. This option becomes available obviously once you install the, the app. I'm gonna call my uh, script Dofus. You can call it whatever you want, like up to you. And before we run it, we don't, we don't gonna, we're not gonna run it just yet. We want to first edit the script. If you by mistake double click it or run it, then it's gonna appear here again in the tray. Just uh, click, right click on it, exit, and, and you're done. So you wanna edit the script first. And we're gonna go first with the easier functionality. I have the, the commands noted down here, just you know, so I don't have to type them. It's gonna be faster if I just copy paste. You don't really need to understand the code in order, like if you wanna use it. Uh, you don't really need to understand any of what's written here. Uh, I'm just gonna explain it real quick, but for you it's just fine if you copy paste it pretty much. Uh, the only thing you're gonna need to replace is the character names. The reason why actually we have character names is if you pay attention, then every Dolphus instance, it has uh, a name of your character that is currently logged in. So in my case, it's Salome and Andromalik. And uh, that is enough for the auto hotkey to differentiate between your windows. And what this first piece is doing essentially is that we are binding F1 to an action that is bringing the window to a front. So activating a Windows window that is, begins with silent A. So that one, right, uh, that you see here on the left. 
and a similar action is configured for my second window with my second character and then if you have more than two you are free to configure uh, essentially as many of them as you want so f3 f4 f5 up to you you can also replace this key with anything you want if you don't like f1 f2 you can put whatever works for you and after that what we have to do is we have to save the script so now once it's saved, I'm going to minimize it. I don't want to close it just yet. And now we actually run it by double clicking that. And uh, we should see the script appearing here in a tray. So if, if it's not appearing right here, then click on this arrow, then it should be somewhere there. Okay, and now what we should have as a result is that here we have my, our two DOFUS windows. And if I click F1, I'm going to my uh, character, which is in the first window. And if I click F2, then I'm going to the character that is in the second window. So that, that works perfect. Uh, I am, I like uh, this feature pretty much, even though it's very simple, but I'm using that a lot. So here, here is F1, F2, works very fast. Uh, that part is done. Okay, now we're going back to our script and uh, we are going to the more uh, interesting part and that is the broadcast of the click, right? So for that, we're gonna use uh, a little bit of a different script. Uh, actually, I'm going to modify it a little bit to make uh, to make it uh, simple for now. So what we are doing here is essentially we are binding binding in mouth uh, mouse left button. This little character here means Alt key on the keyboard. So we are binding Alt plus left mouth button to do a broadcast click. Uh, what is important for you to understand from here is that you need to list all the characters that you have. Uh, and for every character, you need to repeat the line like this. So if you have more than two, then you do like char, name, you know. Uh, I'm pretty sure you understand. So my characters are like, like this. So pretty much uh, that's how you, how you do it. I, I, I'm not explaining it maybe too well, but I, I hope it also is quite obvious, right? So uh, for every character, you need a line like this. And the last uh, word should be the character name. Okay. One suggestion I want to give is uh, make sure that the last character in this list is the, your main account. The reason why is because the last line, uh, like wh whoever is spelled last, is going to be the active window after you uh, click uh, your uh, your shortcut. I hope you understand that. So after I click this combination, my active window is going to be this last one. So the character is silent A, not this one, right? If I swap them around, then this is going to be the guy with the active window. So that's why the main character is really recommended to be uh, on the last line. Let's see if it works. I'm gonna save it. I now have to, it's very important, just saving the script is not enough. You have to run it again. You will be faced with this uh, notification. That is perfectly fine. It just warns you that this script is already, run, uh, already running. Do you want to modify it? And you click yes. So that is perfectly fine. Okay, I'm clicking F1, F2. That still works. And now I'm gonna hold Alt and I'm gonna press my left mouse button. And that works, you see, both of them move. Uh, that That is the fastest way to do it, honestly. If I'm gonna click on the recall potion, since I have it in the same slot on both accounts, it's also gonna be, uh, uh, it's gonna be used. I don't wanna do it because I don't wanna get, go to is the village zap, uh, the safe place is the village zap. I don't wanna go there. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so that, that is uh, essentially the way to do it. Uh, now, what I would like to show you, a couple of more things, uh, quite important ones. First, so what happens, like how you can mess it up. I'm gonna try to make sure that this is gonna be in the video description, but if for some reason you cannot access it or you cannot copy it or you're gonna be retyping everything uh, manually, then uh, you can make a spelling mistake, obviously. Right, so if something is not working, very likely that you have made a spelling mistake. For example, you may have missed like a character here or here, or like a, like an X here or whatever. So 
something is probably missing. That's why I strongly recommend you just to copy it. Um, and uh, but but yeah, so if if you made a spelling mistake, there is one more thing to keep in mind. So I'm gonna make a spelling mistake here on purpose. I'm gonna save. It's gonna save just fine. But when I'm trying to run the script, it's actually gonna complain that there is an error. There is a line in text, and you see this my uh, this is this, the error that I did. And it says that this line does not contain a recognized action. So it's actually gonna warn me about uh, a spelling mistake that I did. So very likely, if you misspell something, that you're gonna face the error like uh, like we did just now. So don't really be worried about that. Uh, and and essentially that's pretty much all you need to know uh, how to write this code. But there is something I want to show you still. So there's something else. First is sometimes you don't really know what is the key name, right? So I had like L button, but I knew how to put it, right? So I had to, I had put it like, uh, sorry, this is the one. I had put it already um, in advance, right? So I knew, I knew how to spell it in advance. You may not know, especially if you want to bind some other button, you may not know how uh, how a button is pretty much called. So there is a, a website on the uh, AutoHotKey uh, site, uh, like, sorry for the re repeating myself. It's called Keylist, HTM, HTM, for some reason should be HTML, I, anyway, it doesn't matter. So Keylist, you can Google it like this, like uh, Google AutoHotKey Keylist and you're gonna be uh, probably first Google or whatever search engine you're using result is gonna be this page. And here you can find any any kind of uh, like buttons, how they are named, like numpad buttons, for example, or uh, like some some of the um, uh, s some of the uh, other buttons that you have in the system. And you can put any keyboard button you like. You don't really need to name it in any way. You just put the button, like you you if you want to bind, I don't know, like. Uh, sorry, once again, that's the wrong place. If you want to bind an a, a key like this, then you just put A, and that's enough. But some buttons, like I said, they have names, so that's why it's important to know. There is just one thing also that I wanted to mention here is that the Control, Alt, and Shift, they have a shortcuts like we just used, you know, you have seen here. We have used this exclamation mark. That is actually a shortcut to Alt, and it is here, it's mentioned, that corresponds to the exclamation mark hotkey prefix, right? So Alt is going to be uh, corresponding to the exclamation mark. Control can be replaced by, with uh, this character, not sure how it's called. And Shift can be replaced with the plus character. Okay, that's, believe it or not, that's not everything <laughs> still. There, there is one more useful thing that I wanted to talk about. And uh, that useful thing is mouse buttons. So many of us have mouses that uh, that have more than two buttons, right? So you have the, the mouse wheel, you have mouse button left, mouse button right, but also you may have like on the side, you may have more additional buttons. And these ones is not very clear usually how these buttons are called. Uh, at least for me, it was not clear whatsoever. So I'm going to teach you how to recognize the button uh, that you have on your mouse. Uh, let me do that. Also, it works with keyboard mouses. So, sorry, I'm, I'm saying stupid stuff. Also, it works with a keyboard button. So if you're trying to identify a specific keyboard button, this method works as well. So I'm going to call, uh, I'm going to create a new script, which I'm going to call the button. And we're going to edit it first. We don't, want, we don't want to have it running. And there are two commands that we need to know install mouse hook and also install key bd so keyboard key bd that's how it's, uh, it, it has to be spelled like this just uh, pay attention so install key bd hook we save the script we run this script uh, if there are no spelling errors then it should run just fine and here we have the script uh, in the tray I'm gonna double click the script actually, something we didn't do before. And in the view menu, 
we're gonna select key history and script info and now if I click some keyboard buttons I'm gonna click them now and then to refresh the page I have to press F5 so you see I have a plenty of buttons that I just uh, pressed real quick but now I want to know how my mouse button is called yeah the one that they have on the side is like extra button so I'm gonna press this button and now I'm gonna click F5 again and I'm gonna see the name of the mouse button uh, how it should be like properly spelled for this software to recognize so it's X button 2 in my case right I'm gonna copy it uh, and yeah you see twice is actually and it's normal uh, it actually recognizes uh, this button press when you press it and when you release it so that's why it's considered like two presses you will see it two times as well in your case that doesn't mean you pressed it twice it, it means that you pressed it and released it that's how it, how the software is treating this okay so we, we got everything we actually wanted from from this piece of uh, piece of code and we can go ahead and terminate the script and now we can back to uh, get back to our Dofus script edit it and modify it so I'm gonna remove this binding entirely and I'm gonna bind instead my mouse button that I have on the side that we just identified uh, to this action to the one that is gonna be doing the clicks in every window I'm gonna save that next we have to run the Dofus script because it was not running or if it was running then we have to refresh it so we have to run it anyway this guy we don't need it anymore can be deleted and now let's just make sure uh, we have our Dofus. I'm gonna click my mouse button that I have just bound and we can see that it works perfectly all right with that I think that's everything I had for you today thanks for watching hope it was useful and good luck